Hey, I'm Louie Fox. Welcome to the 2020 Spokane County Interstate Fair presented by TDS Fiber. I am a magician, world record holder, and today I'm going to do probably the tastiest card trick ever. I wanted to do something special for you, so we're going to do a card trick, but it's not your average card trick. Watch close. Watch close. <laughs> Nachos were invented by Ignacio Anaya at the Victory Club in Mexico. Originally, they had tortilla chips, cheese, sour cream, and jalapenos. I've got a couple of these with me. Oh, sorry, wrong purse. That's a serrano pepper. Watch. <gasps> Gone! Oh my goodness! Oh! <laughs> All right, that's enough. All right, so, oh, it's a lot of peppers. Okay, <laughs> it's gonna be a spicy, spicy pl plate of nachos. <laughs> All right, so, oh, finally a jalapeno, and a jalapeno. Now we're ready to cook. The tortilla chip was invented by Rebecca Webb Carranza, and without a good solid tortilla chip, your nachos will not float. When compared to other ones. The next thing you need is cheddar cheese. I've got me a mini block of cheddar cheese. That's all we had. Hang on, let's try it this way. Watch it close. Mm. Perfect. Shredded cheese. The next thing we need are some jalapenos. Now that's a jar of pickled jalapenos. Not everyone likes pickled jalapenos. Some people prefer them to be a fresh jalapeno. The last thing we need to make nachos is we need the sour cream, okay? Uh, so I've got some milk here and instead of going to the store, we'll do it this way. We'll make our own fresh sour cream. It just takes a little bit of this. Perfect. And, oh, we need some heat. I think uh, the pepper will work perfectly. Awesome. <laughs> Spicy. <laughs> and that gives us some delicious sour cream. And our nachos are ready. In the town that I live in, we have what us locals jokingly refer to as the indestructible tree. It's been hit by cars four times, it survived two lightning strikes, and one spicy mayoral scandal. This is a leaf from that tree, and I'm going to kind of show you how it, it's indestructible. Uh, we'll, we'll use a twig to kind of demonstrate. You can poke a hole in it with the twig. Now, it looks like there's been some destruction, but you watch, look at this. You can move the hole just a little bit through the twig, through the leaf. No hole. What's even more interesting is if you take it Break it. That leaf always, always turns back. Into a whole leaf. That's why we call it the indestructible tree. But it gets even weirder. If we take all of those pieces, all of those pieces of it, and you squeeze them. They disappear. They don't really disappear. That leaf will be back on that tree if I were to go out and look right now. When I was at the 
park getting the leaf from the indestructible tree, I picked up a couple of twigs from the ground. Now, one of these I removed all of the bark from, and one I left it with all of its bark. I took the bark off with my teeth. You could say my bite was definitely worse than its bark. Alright, so, uh, we have no bark, we have bark. Check it out. They go in the hand. Let's see if we take out, oh, we have the bark. Alright, if you watch the bark close, do you see them change places? No bark, bark. We'll do it again. In the hand, this time we'll go with, oh, the bark again. Watch the bark. Did you see it? Because the bark is over there, that leaves me with the no bark. <laughs> All right, one last try. This time, we will use, oh, that's definitely no bark because there's nothing there. <laughs>